Hello. So I'm going to show you uh, a little bit of uh, JGrasp, which I've asked you to install, and how a basic program will work. When you fire up JGrasp, this is the interface that you see, what you're seeing in your screen. And then there's a text editor here. If you click on File, New, you can say Java, and that will create a file. Okay. In Java, when you want to tell the computer to do something, you write Java commands. But before you can do that, and so that the computer understands that your program is going to be in Java, you have to do a little bit of legwork. And what you type is this, public class, and then let's say you want to give this program a name. We'll call it, um, how about my test? my test, you want it to start with a, 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 an uppercase, that's for sure. My test, open curly braces, and then here you tab, you indent, and say public static void main string open and close square braces, args, open curly braces and then your program goes in here here's where your program would go and once you're done with your program you close those parentheses and you close this parentheses so the simplest program is to print hello hello world and the way you do that in here in Java the instruction for that remember this area here this area that I'm clicking on this area is where your programming goes this thing up here and the braces down here are necessary but they're just dress up for what we're doing right now so if I wanted to print hello I would say system dot out dot print line hello world okay, and that is my Java program now in JGrasp that's fine and dandy now the thing is, how does the computer know what to do? Well, the first thing is you have to translate into something that the computer can understand. Okay, and you do that by clicking on the plus sign, which is going to compile the file. It's going to ask us to save it first. <clears throat> when you save the file, your, sa your file needs to be saved with the exact same name that's in here. That's, that's here, where it says public class my test with the same case and everything. So we're going to save this file as mytest.java. It's right here, mytest.java. We'll save it into whatever folder. I'm just going to save it there for now. Uh, documents, why not? Save. Right, and now I, mean, I click compile. So you saved it. Now you compile it. Notice this area of the screen is doing stuff. and it'll say operation complete. There you go. Uh, your screen will not have these two lines. This is previous garbage that I had. But your screen will have these two lines. Okay? So when the operation is complete, then you can click the running person here up on the screen and you'll see how it said hello world. That's the output. Mine said hi because I had something say hi before. But hello world that's what it's doing okay so again recapping you have to dress up your programs with these two lines public class and then some name that you choose and then public static void main string open and close and then args you can do a whatever you want to do args open curly braces then your program then close curly braces you see that the program you see that if I hover this curly braces, it also highlights the other curly braces that were open. This one's closing that. And then this one is closing the other one that's highlighted, right? Again, dress up your programs with these two lines here and and with these other two lines. And um, <clears throat> save it with this name dot Java, compile with a plus and run with a little guy, okay? And that's it for now.